Alright, before this video starts, I want to say that I wasn't recording any of this. Like, I wasn't recording my mic at all, at anywhere in this part. So, I'm going to really just get to the important stuff and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to say the intro. What's up, my YouTube? My name is Naima Pono, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And let's roll the clips, baby. Whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. I said I would get the money, and I will. Just, I can't for a while. Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. You have to be more reasonable. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Come on. You know? Oh! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, Mr. Borgen. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game! Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Camp partners. I don't mean to spoil your fun. I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go?
Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Don't hurt me. Don't make an enemy of me. Yep. Can't afford to risk it. I don't believe you. Get off the damn tracks! this place and what stay get your foot out of here twist your leg you drunken bastard get it come on <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Crap, uh, my mic was muted the whole time, guys. Freak. So, basically, this drunk fool right here is, is on crack or something, but I have to do a voiceover. Ah, oh, kill me, Lord. Hey, we made it. Let's hitch our horse. Onto one of these, uh... Okay. Alright, get the freak off. Oh, dang. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> what happened? Just... Fusion. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Lucky. And I'm eating some stew right now. Hold on, let me go in first person mode. Ah, mm hmm. Strong gut. Whoa, what's up with that? You just threw the plate. You do not give two freaks. I'm gunshots over here. Come on, horse. Okay. Would you be interested? 
interested in some friendly competition? Oh, all right. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? All right, Migo, let's do it. Real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple. Well, okay, whoever shoots one of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? Shoot! Easy, man. I'm definitely yes. winning this. Wait, what do you mean, yes? What the hell is the matter with you? I have my eye out for you. What? I just beat you. What do you mean, brother? It's what do you mean? Get the freak down. Get the. Mm, what do you mean? What do you mm, I won. First. Girl. All right, we made it to the ranch station, brother. <laughs> All right, and uh, we gotta go talk to Hosea Matthews. Seems what the heck? He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Respective new partner, if he likes this. Like him ain't the problem. Trust him is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a side line. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown with the talking about. Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. An old man. And not old. No, you're not. What are you talking about? And you know why I ain't there? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Okay. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. He wants to take Focus on my man's hair, bro. For real. An acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. What is it? There's a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carnaby Bay. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Rocks. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill me, buddy. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and I know it was me. Look, you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Alright, so we made it to, the, to this, this guy's cousin's house. Yeah. So we're gonna rob this. We're gonna rob him. Let's see. What we're Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in and I'll get the coach. You can drive the house. Or wait until morning and I'll head over and distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stage. What do you think? I'm gonna say night. Ooh, I want that action right now. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before mm -hmm. you Make sure it's all quiet. Gotta be stealthy. Stagecoach, here we come. <coughs> stealthy. Let me search the Let me search the chest. Look here, man, I don't want you to wake up. I do not want to hurt you. Ninety one dollars. Oh, crap. Search wardrobe. Taking that. Thank you. Anything else? Awesome. Uh, bracelet. Search drawer. Thank you. Thank you for that watch, buddy. Thanks for that watch, brother. Alright. Wait, you're not driving? Oh, come on, man. That's not fair, bro. Awesome. Nice work, 
Hosea was mostly art, but like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches, please sell it. I'll see what I can offer you for you. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, Jim. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Mm. Yeah. Sure. I guess I'll come, mate. Got a hundred and sixty six dollars. Let's go. We're selling, selling. All right, guys, before I end today's video, I want to say thank you all for watching. Right there, what's up, that bro? What's up with your beard right there? You got a little, uh, you got a little, little uh, anyways. Before I end the video off, I want to say thank you for watching t today's video, and uh, yeah, I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Leave it in the comment section below what, what you think I should do about. Buddy, I'm freaking trying to talk if you don't shut freak up. As I was saying, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow and I love you all. And come leave in the comment section below what do you think I should do about uh, Arthur's beard? Because that drone, drone got, that drone got a couple patches or a few, you know what I'm saying? Just like it's. <laughs> get the